Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. This is a love romantic relationship reading for you, Pisces. I hope you're well. This reading for today, Pisces, is ghosting or no uh, contact tarot reading session for you. I hope you're okay. I hope you're doing well. The reading for today is specially for my Piscean friends. If you guys are interested to further support my channel, check the description box below. You'd see the details of my Instagram account. If you want to have a private reading, a customized reading, um, check out my Etsy store. It's also there down in the description box below. If you are guest viewers, guys, and you haven't clicked subscribe, um, click subscribe now. I'd be happier if you join my family or my team here in YouTube. Okay? Why this person ghosted you? Um, Pisces. Okay, first card is out. Six of Wands. Six of Swords. Hmm. The hangman is in reverse. The page of swords. What's the moving forward? The future. Advice. Okay. All right. One more, please. Okay. Why this person ghosted your no contact for you, Pisces? Is that in the past situation, you know, six of wands. This is victory. This is um, blunt. This is obvious. This is out in the open. This is, you know, um, this is being, ev this is seen, you know, uh, six of wands is something that's out in the public. This is um, a special kind of victory or success because you are expressing to the world or sharing to the world something. When it comes to love romantic, this is, this is probably an impulsive move given that the six of swords is in reverse because I feel like it was working very well. Like you were out in the open dating. Everything seems to be progressive. It's working well. Um, but I feel like your person, I felt like they they press, they press the break. You know, they took back something. Because six of wands, this is moving forward. And then for some reason, they have to put break. They have to reroute. They have to go back into something. The start of, you know, the six of wands, the start of thing between the two of you, it was good. You know, it, it is progress. It is moving. It's something that you are proud of or your person is proud of you. They don't, they don't hide anything. It's everything is seen. Everything is felt. Everything is obvious, you know, winning. Um, but for some reason, your person needs to reroute six of swords. They need to go back into something. I feel like it was an ex. Or for some of you, they have to go back overseas. Something to do with... It was almost there, but they need to turn the direction going back. Because the hangman is in reverse. They have released you. They have detached you. The page of swords is in reverse. The hangman is in reverse. And the page of swords is in reverse. So they have released you and detached you. And it must be painful for you or you're pissed off or it's not it's not right. It's not pleasant that this person drops you like a hot potato. You know, it's like release without giving you some sort of explanation. Pretty much um, a ghosting or no contact or reading se session for you. They have to go back and rework something related to their life, family, career, or love romantic. Because I feel like, you know, the six of ones... It was really going well. It was out in the public. You seen, you felt everything was okay. Like you did not expect that your person would back out. Because the Six of Swords, um, next to the Six of Six, the, this is Six and Six, all right? So yeah, it's a completely opposite. You, your person put a break. They changed their mind. For some of you, it was impulsive of them to to change their mind or something to do with the raw like they put the brake they put the hand brake back um taking a break um the hangman is in reverse and the page of swords is in reverse so i feel like the caution in here or the negative side of things is that your person did not update you or did not explain further why they have to do a reroute because six of wands i feel like this is success and victory within reach but they change their mind they reroute something to do with i need to go back 
Like I cannot proceed like halfway and they need to go back, rework something. And the thing is, it was kind of unfair for you because they did not give you some sort of an update and explanation on why they did this. Okay. If you look at the hangman, you know, the hangman, it's in reverse. If you look at this person, um, he is surrounded with a yellow color. He has some sort of a spark of idea, like, you know, yellow color for me. It's sun and it, it, it looks like an idea, glow. It, there's a glow, there's um, a sudden, there's a peak of idea. Something happened that they changed their mind. They were out, they went back, a change of idea, something that sparked, something that made them spark, it's either travel you know they realize that could be if they continuously dating you get to know you or be with you um they wouldn't be able to to accept an offer or because this looks this looks like an aha moment you know this looks like something surprising happened to them something came into their mind um, a surprising development or surprise an aha moment where they have to sacrifice you they didn't tell you for some of you because you would be hurt like they really they really kept it ghosting or no contact so that they leave the door open you know they didn't say goodbye and um you know they normally ghosting and no contact is that i don't want to update you with anything because i would have to come back because you know they have to reroute they're on the you know what i feel for you is that they're on their they're they are on their way towards you it's like your progression you and your person it's underway it's in progress but they have to they have to leave or abandon that you know six of swords because this is victory and they have abandoned you for something that a spark an impulsive decision something that's related to career finance could could be third party as well because it, it is it's a bit selfish you know page of swords in reverse it's they did some agenda that will only benefit them and they, they made you feel like you don't matter because they didn't give you an explanation all right yeah it was kind of not fair because they only act without they act impulsively selfishly without considering that you would be hurt like some sort of abandonment and in the immediate future moving forward you've got the full card is in reverse the death card so as mentioned you might be dealing with a scorpio gemini libra aquarius aries leo sag i'm feeling like this is spices energy um i think it's about work oops Sorry, I think it's about work. The death card is in reverse. The fool card. So for some of you, they sacrifice their love romantic for work, for travel, for career, for finances. They really focus on work, you know. <laughs> the thing with your person is that they have abandoned you to pick up a career a finance opportunity they have abandoned you to pick up this opportunity okay they have abandoned they have abandoned you they didn't commit to you because of something all right something that of a missed opportunity with them now it went back to them again they have to say yes they have they have to allocate more time to it and they they need to set aside so in short this is more of they have to abandon you they don't want to tell you the details because this is something that they want to focus and work hard you know eight of pentacles this is working hard this is a tough decision making because they know that they will hurt you but they have to do this eight of pentacles thing i don't think this person is surrendering you okay i don't think it's over between the two of you they're just really busy working things out with whatever business opportunity, travel, or finances. There is, for some of you, if you dated a person who you feel like you're a rebound, like they just broken up with someone and they met you, they went back to that. 
and they realized that it was a hard work because five of cups in reverse what i'm getting from your person is after they abandoned you um, and they focus on career or finances or third party what they get is that stalemate energy because this is sadness and this is no longer sad so they went through some sort of a down slope and now it's okay now they've recovered but it's not satisfactory satisfactory not satisfied because when you were together when you were dating when they were with you when you were communicating what they felt is success six of wands when they left you behind when they sacrifice when they abandon you what they got from leaving you is eight of pentacles more work more like it has eaten up their mind with this thing that they have abandoned you for and it was okay it was not um because if you look at the hangman the way they got the idea it's a spark you know when they abandon you it's like i need to abandon Pisces for this 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 needs to take priority okay they abandon you for something like all right i'm sorry Pisces. i'm not gonna explain to you this needs to take priority off i go bye bye without explanation because it's a spark of idea and then they went through that was hard work um and then the hermit card they realized something that it's a hard work it did it did give them an outcome it's an okay outcome it's not as a six of ones outcome okay it turned out to be whoever they choose if it's a person or if it's a career or a finance they realize that it's not worth of it like I could have kept my Pisces and taken this offer. Something to do with the amount of sacrifice I did. Like they sacrifice you for this. And they only gave it only get they only got an okay. An okay um result. Not great the way they expected to be. Okay. I'm gonna get more cards. So if this was a third party. I'd say they don't want to admit that they regret losing you, okay? Or for some of you, this is a karma where they abandon you for this opportunity and they were not successful enough, all right? I'm gonna get, um, okay, one more card. Okay, so I feel like in the, in the near future, you know this person will come back to you and beg for your attention okay um they would come back they will call you they will text you they would really i'd say for some of you um convince you to co convince you to rekindle convince you to pay attention with them um they would go low kind of beg you for forgiveness to, to pay attention with them but if you, for example, play hard to get or if you ignore them, then they would go away. Because I feel like, you know, they could only stay, they wouldn't stay long chasing you. They, they will come back and chase you. But if you push them away, they would go. It's just checking in whether they could salvage, salvage things with you. All right. So I'm going to leave it with you whether you want to accept them or you want to make it difficult for them. But I don't think they would chase you more. Because I feel like your person had enough. Because, again, it's going to be a rebound. You know, it's they, they're they not successful on their choice. They feel bad because they abandoned something great towards you. And then they're coming back to you. So it's a more of, it's, it's kind of, this person is couldn't make up their mind where to go. So... They might start all over again. That's the reason why they don't want to chase you further if you reject them. But I feel like they've got a lot of ups and downs in their life that it has affected them in terms of making a decision, like having a decision making when it comes to love romantic. Like you're dealing with a you're dealing with a person who's all over. Okay. I think it, this is a karma because they switch on switch on, switch off switch on switch off so they're everywhere they might come back to you as a rebound 
okay so careful all right so thank you Pisces I'll see you soon bye bye